everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to make an engineering drawing. Uh, but real quick, if you want to change the color of our little shape um, to the same color uh, that it actually was in real life, you can always uh, click over here on the right side and then choose green. Um, so choose the right color of green and press check mark. Okay, cool. So remember, just a reminder, there's the front side, the right side, and the top side. And so you need to have those three orthographic projections in addition to the ortho, uh, isometric view. So what you're going to do is you're gonna come over here and you'll see the plus sign. Um, you're gonna click on the plus sign and go to create drawing. And when you click on the create drawing, um, sometimes there's templates that are pre-made, but usually uh, we'll just do this one that's available, no views, and then go ahead and press okay. When you do this, um, it will bring up this window that says select a part or assembly. Um, so if you had many parts, they would all be here and you could like select many of them. We only have one part, so we'll go ahead and select that part. And then when you, um, when you have your cursor over in this drawing area, um, it's gonna bring in the front view. So let's put the front view like on the lower left hand um, area. And if you click once, uh, you'll see that uh, the front view has occurred or has uh, has shown up. And then if you kind of just go over to the right and click once, that's gonna show you the right view. Um, and then if you click over here again and then go up, that's gonna show you the top view. So those are the three views that we need, the orthographic projections. And then if you click on this and go um, kind of vertically or diagonally to the right, then that shows the isographic. So those are the three orthographic projections and then the isometric view. Um, you can press escape to get your cursor back and then you can kind of move these around. Notice that when you move this one, this one moves um, if you want your isometric one to be a little bit up there, but they, um, they line up. So if you move this one, this one will line up vertically with it. And if you move this one, this one will move vertically or horizontally with it. So they want these to be lined up. Um, that looks great. So then you need to go ahead and use your dimension tool and get as many dimensions as possible um, using all the different views. So for example, here we can put the 0.75, here we can put the 0.5, uh, 0.5, and this is a whole one. So you can just choose different um, areas to do. Um, you want to try not to repeat any of the parts, but to make sure that someone can see all the different um, dimensions that are there. And that looks great. And um, you usually don't want to do the dimensions on the orthographic view because the dimensions don't come out the right way because um, it's kind of like true to the actual picture, not true to size. So um, I like to just do them on there. And then over here, this is our nameplate. Um, you want to press escape to get out of the dimensions tool and then you want to put your name should just automatically show up there and the date but then you need a title and you can have different parts of the title uh, if you double click on there um, and then just type in there I'm going to just call it my green cube and then oops and press the check mark boom all right and um, there's some other things that you could possibly add in there like you could add in the Let's see, um, you could add like the material uh, if you had different partners in there, but um, it's fine if you just put the name and uh, that's the most simple form of your drawing that you can um, have. And then when you're done with that, you're going to um, control click on your drawing or if you're in a, um, you're in a Chromebook, you think you double click on it with two fingers maybe, and you're going to export it and so this is drawing one, so be sure you change it to um, whatever you want to call it. And um, we want to save it as a, a PDF. And um, that looks good. And then just go ahead and export it. And it will export it to your downloads. And then you could print it out or turn it in if there's an assignment. Um, so if you have a Mac, like I do, you'll see it over here. Um, so if I double click, you'll see my beautiful drawing. It looks great, uh, has my three views. So it has my front, my right, and my top, and then my isographic. So that's how you do it.